Finally, I am through cutting and welding on the interior of this Pinto. I have the spare tire area fixed. I have cut out and replaced the floor pans on both sides. I handmade the pans. I still have some pinholes that I'm going to fix with some fiber bondo. And I also need to do some seam sealer on a lot of places. But to really complete this repair, I need to work on the bottom of the car. So I decided to build myself a rotisserie. That is something that will allow me to rotate the car up onto its side and even upside down. Here's my detailed drawings that I spent a great deal of time on. I'm going to be using 6 by 6s This is the part that will be sitting on the floor on the front and the rear of the car. It's a 6 by 6 this way, a 6 by 6 up and down with two angular pieces to support it side to side. Front to back, this way, I'll attach 24 inch long pieces running this direction on each, each end of it. Now this is the part that will be on the front of the car. This is going to be a 6 by 6 This is going to be another 6 by 6 This way, that hole is going to be the pivot point. These will be holes that mount to the front frame. Now on the rear, I'm using a 1x2 and a 2x4. These will be bolted to the locations where the bumper goes. On top of that will be another 6x6. This will go on top of that and be attached to that. There's the pivot point. So this rotisserie concept is not something that I came up with. A lot of people use them when they're redoing old cars. The key to it, though, is determining where that axis point needs to be. We need to have as much weight above that axis point as we have below it. Now I don't have any sophisticated way of determining that. I'm just going to make a guess. For me just looking at it, I've determined that I need my pivot point somewhere probably around 23 to 24 inches. And that's just a guess. I may have this thing bottom heavy or I may have it top heavy, but that's where I'm going to start. Now I may have to move that, but for now I think I'm going to shoot for 24. Something else that has to be considered when you're building your stand is the height that the pivot point needs to be. That needs to be so that when you rotate the car on its side or onto its top, it will clear. So in my case, I'm going to do my pivot point at 42 inches. That should clear the side, as you can see there. As I rotate this around, everything will clear. Okay, I finally have all the parts made now. They're scattered out all over the place here. Pretty big mess. All I gotta do now is get these pieces put together. Much better. Well, that was a chore. Except for the pivot hole up here where the pipe will go through, uh, this thing is done. So now all I gotta do is build another one just like it. At this point, I have it jacked up on jack stands. I also went ahead and removed the rear end on it. I also have the rear pivot point mounted now. 
I used a tube of six and I attached it to the car using the bumper mounting locations. And I had to put spacers under each end of the tube of six here to keep it from pulling in too tight and getting into the curved part of the car here. And to that, I have a six by six mounted. The six by six is notched to fit that two by six and I have it mounted with four uh, 3 8 inch bolts bolted to that. I also added a little couple angular pieces here just to give it some more rigidity. On top of that, I have a two by four that's screwed to the top of the tube of six that goes to the floorboard of the car here, and that's screwed there, and that's to prevent this thing from wanting to roll like this, backwards and forwards. It's fairly light. I can pick it up with basically two hands, so I probably overkilled a lot of this, but that's what the rear mount looks like. I'm now working on the front pivot point of the car. I'm using a six by six that I'm notching to fit the contour of the mounts for the bumper here. I use a chainsaw, I still gotta do a little bit of work to each end to get that fitting. And then on top of that, I'll mount another six by six standing vertically. I have the front pivot point framework built now. You can see I had to grind out or rabbit out these edges here where they'll match to my framework where the bumper goes. I have this block bolted on there. Those are mortars together. So all I have to do now is get this thing bolted to the frame of the car. Now I have to cut my piece of pipe, get it in there and screw it into place where it can't turn or anything or move in or out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, now that I have this done, there's two more things I need to do. The first one is to drill the holes that matches to this in my stands. Now those holes will be up here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where just yet, but I gotta get that done. And then the biggest thing I have to figure out is how to get the Pinto raised up to that height. That way I can slip the stands onto it. All right, I've decided to call on my best friend, Massey, again. Um, I borrowed the forks from my son-in-law. I don't think the Pinto weighs over about 700 pounds now, and that's a, just a wild guess. Um, I think that this may be the maximum limits of my little tractor here. I have to lift the Pinto about 12 to 13 inches before I can get my end supports on it. So we're gonna give it a shot here and see what happens. Well, unfortunately, this is not gonna work. I've got to figure out some other way to get this car up about 13 more inches.
Okay, I have the backup into the uh, pivot thing here without a major catastrophe. Let's see if I can get the front up without a major catastrophe. I got to thinking about it a little bit and before I raise the front up, uh, as I do raise it up, it's going to come off of the jack stands that I have under the front of it and that would allow it to try to pivot. So to keep it from doing that, I put straps here that will keep it horizontal. I may have this thing way out of balance. I don't want to jack it up a little bit and it fall off my jack. So I did all this to protect from that. It looks a little sketchy, I know, but I think it's going to be fine. Well, unfortunately, I can't get as high as I need to go in this pass, so I got to block it up again and raise it up some more. See if I can get a little bit more. This should get me up there. Here we go, some more. Now this is swinging. Hopefully we can go on there now. Okay, right now there's no weight on this stand, so I'm fixing to let the jack down. Now then the car is resting on nothing but these pivot point pipes that I have here. Uh, I'm going to remove my jack stands and get them out of the way and other stuff that I have that I had under the car. Then I'm going to go to the back and undo those straps and see if this thing will rotate without falling down. All right, I didn't have the video running when I first rotated this thing. I moved the straps, which went fine. I have it a little bit, if anything, driver's side heavy, but it's pretty stable as you can see. Uh, I'll rotate it now to where you can see the top. I'm doing it with one hand. There's the top. What I like about this, I can do all body work and stuff just sitting on my little chair or standing up. I got to do some body work here on the top, which this will be so much better. Uh, just bring it on around. There it is upside down and you can see, boy, I've only got about three inches clearance there, so that's good. Uh, here's the other side. It stays pretty much wherever I put it. But now then let's check out the bottom. The whole purpose of this thing. All right, there's the bottom. Now then, at this point, I can go ahead and clean up all this rust, get all this metal fixed where I've replaced it, uh, sand all this stuff, get everything primed and seam sealer on it, and uh, get the bottom complete. 
uh, that'll be very nice. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I appreciate your support to my channel. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I'm always doing some weird stuff. I smell some old gasoline probably pouring out of the fuel line. But anyway, please recommend my channel to all your friends. And until I see you again, may God bless you and I hope you have a great week.